welcome back to church. It's fantastic to see you again. My name's Catherine, this is Billy, and this is Flipper, and we are here to host you this morning. A special welcome to Samuel and Eliana, to Chitza, to Endinako, and to Kaya. I hope you're watching, and if you are, give us a wave. Okay, you two go back over there. Well done to our Spot the Difference experts, Timo and Matthias, Danielle and Nadia, and Hannah and Daniel, who noticed that Billy Bear lost his t-shirt last week. I wonder what will change today? Keep your eyes peeled. Well, it was so exciting to be back at church last week. It's the first time that we had some of you in the church building and we had so much fun. We played games, we sang, we ate Smarties while we prayed, and it was just really exciting to be together again. We also made some of these posters, Your Kingdom Come. Have a look at this video to see how much good colouring in went on. Wasn't that brilliant? I wonder if any of you made one at home. If not, it's not too late. Now, the children at church also shouted really loudly that they loved Jesus in that challenge. I wonder if you shouted loudly at home. So I thought we need to have another challenge today because do you know what? Today is the first day that the children in Clerk Street are watching this in the building. So if you're watching from Clerk Street, please give us a wave. So we need to have a three-way challenge. And today we're going to see who can stand on one leg the longest. And that's linked to our story today, which is all about strong foundations and weak foundations. Now, standing on one leg is a bit of a weak foundation, so I'm not quite sure how long you're going to manage. See if you can do it for longer than me. Okay, so is everyone watching this video now standing up? Okay, off your chairs. Now I want you to balance on one leg, like me. Okay, it helps if you try and focus on something. So focus on something, try to stay really still. No wobbles. I can see a few wobbles. Hold it really still. Okay, well done. If you're still balancing on one leg, this is the next challenge, okay? So you're gonna go like this while you balance. Are you still managing? Well done. A few more wobbles I can see. Okay, so if you're still managing to balance, this is the final challenge. See if you can do this whilst balancing. It's really tricky. Yeah. Okay, I'm done. Are you still balancing on one leg? If you are, well done. Why don't you send us your name so we can say well done next week. Now I think it's time for us to do some singing. To think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands And say that I love Him I just want to lift my heart in praise And I want to be faithful I want to be faithful I want to remember everything That the Lord has done I want to be thankful I want to be grateful I want to be, I want to be, I want to be I like to think about the goodness of the Lord He gives me everything I need and so much more So I just want to lift my hands and say
that our praises remind all the darkness of how great and how mighty our God is. For the battle belongs to the Lord and no one else. We are standing in holy defiance. We're declaring aloud in the silence that the battle As we take back the ground from the darkness The battle belongs to the Lord and no one else You're the banner we raise in the chaos No, the gates of hell won't stand against us The battle belongs to the Lord and no The troubles, the trials, the shadows, the sorrows, the long nights, the hard fight We are the prophets, the voice in the darkness, declaring the battle is yours We'll sing hallelujah for all hell to hear Shout out Hosanna above every fear Strongholds will crumble like castles of sand Today, the first one is called The Wise and Foolish Builder, and it's all about building houses. Let's go and find out some more with Kate. Hi everyone, my name is Kaylin and I serve in the Jubilees. In today's lessons, we will hear about how important our foundations are when we are building. Do you know what the foundation is? Hmm. Those are great answers. A foundation is the lowest part of the building that everything else is built on. It is really important that the foundation is strong and it doesn't move around. We are going to build some towers on different foundations and find out what makes a good foundation and what doesn't. So let's go. Thank you. 
what did we find out? What do you think? Which one was the best foundation? Well done! We found out that the concrete stones was the best foundation because they were very strong and it doesn't move. Let's hear more about a wise and a foolish folder with Teacher Dawn. Thanks, Kaylin. What great building. Hi, everyone. I'm Dawn and I serve at Jubilee in the city. So this week we continue the parables that Jesus told his followers. Now Jesus chose to tell a parable about the wise boulder and the foolish boulder to his followers because even 2,000 years ago people knew how important it was to build their house on firm ground. Look at these pictures which show some simple but strong foundations. In this one, they have placed a wooden structure on a strong stone to stop it moving. In this one, people are placing lots of stones under the ground to create the foundation. For bigger houses, a foundation may look something like this, a layer of strong concrete. Now let's hear the story and find out what happened. So the parable this week is called the house on the rock. Here is a man he is looking for a place to build a house. He climbs to the top of a big grey rock. Ah, here is a good place. The man begins to build his house. It is hard work. He puffs and pants and he is exhausted. The rain pours down, the lightning flashes, the thunder booms, the water washes around the house and splashes at the rock. The rock stays firm. The wise man chose the rock. Here is another man. He also wants a house, but he wants it now. I want it quick. This place will do, he says. He pulls his house down on the sand. This won't take long, he says, and whistles as he works. His house is done. He goes inside and shuts the door. A raindrop drips onto his nose. Oh dear. Down. The lightning flashes, the thunder booms, the water rushes through the house and splashes at his knees. Oh, the sand is washed away. His house fell flat. The silly man was wrong to build house on the sand. Jesus says, I and like the wise man's rock, if you trust me, I will never let you down. So, what have we learned from this story? That we need to trust God and turn to him for everything. Because he is like a strong rock foundation who will not let us fall. If we trust only ourselves, we will get into trouble like the foolish boulder. So who do you choose to be? The wise man or the foolish man? You decide. Come, let's pray in our children. Dear Lord Jesus, we pray that you will always use your wisdom that you gave us to make wise decisions in our life and not be like the foolish man who suffered great loss. Guide and protect us, Lord, and keep us safe. Amen. Thanks so much to Dawn and Kaylin for that brilliant story. Did you get the lesson of that story? That's right, God wants us to put our faith in him because he's strong and he won't move or let us down like that rock. Now. We've got a new memory verse for you this week, and it's quite a fun one. 
Have a look at this because afterwards I've got a challenge for you. can film it maybe in hyperlapse mode so it's sped up a little bit and if you send that in to us we would love to add that to our memory verse montage so that other people can watch it next week and maybe while you're building keep listening to that song so that you can get the words from the bible in your heart another thing you could do this week is take a rock a stone maybe from the garden or something you can find out and about and write this word on it can you see what it says that's right, it says God. And that stone with the word God on it is a helpful reminder that he is our strong, firm foundation that won't be moved. I hope you have a fantastic week, everyone. Thanks for joining us and we look forward to seeing you next week. Take care, bye.
particular 